by 1969, we had uh, all of the latest state-of-the-art equipment in a number of airplanes, and we also had aircraft equipped with dispensing equipment to put silver iodide into, uh, into a hurricane. The hypothesis for how to do this had been designed, developed by uh, Dr. Joanne Simpson and her husband, Dr. Robert Simpson, was the director of Project Storm Theory for a number of years. Dr. Simpson, uh, at the time Project Storm Fury started, he was the head of the United States Weather Bureau. With the, with the uh, funds being made available for Project Storm Fury, they created a new entity of government called the National Hurricane Research Center. And Dr. Simpson, Dr. Bob Simpson, was the director of that group. He is preeminent, and his wife Joanne, uh, I attended a uh, ceremony for her uh, induction into the uh, National Center for Atmospheric Research Laboratory's Wall of Fame last summer, in which her name was placed on the wall as one of the five preeminent scientists in the nation in the 20th century. That's his wife, Joanne, who was the head of Project Storm Fury for the two years. I worked with her for those two years. This book, Hurricane Watch Here, is, is very important because it's written by a person who's a former director of the National Hurricane Center so he's had worlds of experience in, in the research in these things. And I might add that I, talk, I took Dr. Bob Sheets on his first airplane ride into a hurricane in 1964. He says, all in all, Bob Simpson undoubtedly has had more impact on hurricane research and forecasting than any other single person. And I might add the second most important person in this, in this uh, direction or this field is his wife, Dr. Joanne Simpson. 